The chemical pollution that struck Pasir Gudang Johor last month had become one of Malaysia's serious environmental issue. The ordeal which was first reported on March 7 became worse a few days later which ultimately led to the shutdown of all the 111 schools in the Pasir Gudang district. The call was made by Minister of Education Mazli Malik. One of the things that came to surface during the Pasir Gudang crisis is the lack of involvement of Menteri Besar Johor Osman Sapian. This was the time when the MB's name came under media attention for appearing relatively quiet in the issue, while state politicians like Bakri MP Yobi Yin and State Executive Councillor of Health, Environment and Agriculture Sahruddin Jamal are actively tackling the crisis. It was only on March 14th that the Johor MB came out with a statement in relation to the crisis, but unfortunately it backfired after he refused to declare state of emergency with many attacking him for his closed house doors remark. His absence during the crisis while on a working trip in Batam further painted a negative image on him as the Menteri Besar of Johor. Although Osman defended that the trip was pre-planned to promote the state's tourism industry, his decision to not be around during the crisis might have potentially led the people of Johor to lose confidence towards him. This ultimately brought us here. On the morning of 9 April, Osman once again came under media spotlight after words were swirling around the mainstream media whereby he is being pressured to step down as the Menteri Besar. Word has it that his failure to manage the Pasir Gudang crisis had raised eyebrows and questions within the Joho Palace about his capabilities as the state's leader. The rumour did have a tiny kernel of truth. Tongues wagged when Osman did not appear at the Malaysia-Singapore leaders' retreat on April 9, as he was scheduled to. It wasn't long after Prime Minister Tun Dr Mahathir Mohamad in a press conference revealed that Osman Sapian had already resigned as Menteri Besar of Johor. According to Tun Mahathir, Osman submitted his resignation letter to the Prime Minister and the Sultan of Johor on April 8. Tun Mahathir added that the appointment of the next Joho MB must follow the agreement in Pakatan Harapan. The successor must be a member of Bersatu. In GE 14, Pakatan Harapan won 36 out of 56 state seats in Joho. It is speculated that Dr. Sahruddin Jamal, State Youth Sports and Culture Committee Chairman Muhammad Kuzan Abu Bakar, and State Islamic Affairs and Education Committee Chairman Amino Huda Hassan are named as the possible candidates for the Menteri Besar post. Who will be the successor of Osman Sapian? What will happen if Muhammad Kuzan Abu Bakar of PKR takes up the Menteri Besar post?